Hello everyone and welcome back to the main channel. Today we're talking about something that is more of a hypothetical question based on audio knowledge, based on knowledge that the TV world could incorporate this, right? And it's also based on the knowledge that, well, why not? Just why not? So, spin-offs. We're going through this in an alternative route to get to the point that we're after. So spin-offs. What do we want to see from a spin-off? Well, if, for instance, we wanted to make our own series of Doctor Who as a spin-off, right? And it was exactly like the main show, but the only difference was it was an alternate universe. It was an alternate version of the Doctor. Everything that happens is alternative to what would have happened to the main Doctor. And um, this was a ploy to get another actor to play the Doctor so that they could do a crossover later on as this massive MCU style thing. Yes, you do know what I'm talking about, don't you? David Warner, sadly no longer with us. David Bradley, who's now taken over the role. Well, technically he's still playing the first Doctor in audio, but it's like, yeah, it's called the Unbound Doctor. Now, the Unbound Doctor is unbound so it's an alternate multiverse it's a doctor that isn't part of the main canon of the show because they're an alternate universe version whether or not that's alternative universe as in well multiverse or parallel universe but beneath summerfield who is a fan favorite character in the big finish universe played by uh Billy summerfield is a very beloved character within the universe of big finish Due to Big Finish's start was with Bernice Summerfield. Bernice, um, or Bernie, as some people call her, she ended up joining David Warner's Unbound Doctor to help fight and save the universe. Now, this is an alternate timeline where anything can happen and the Unbound Doctor can literally regenerate into absolutely anyone because it's not restricted to the regeneration cycle of the Doctor we all know and love. So, the Unbound Doctor could, theoretically, turn up on TV. I think that if Joe Martin was to return on TV, was, uh, I don't think she will due to the fact that we're trying to make Doctor Who slightly more complicated in the multiverse aspect, and I don't think we're going to faff with it. She might return for Series 16, but I don't think she'll return in the near future due to Russell trying to expand the universe first before bringing back some characters that were left uh, without much story to them due to other aspects. So, Joe Martin might return, but I wouldn't say return in the next two series, probably third onwards. Now, the Unbound Doctor can return and can make an appearance on TV. I have no problem with that. The reason why I have no problem with it is because I think that's a fabulous idea. No, 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 I'm not saying a fabulous idea because I said it. I said it's a fabulous idea because well, why would you not want to have an unbound doctor, a doctor that's an alternate universe, far in the universe, another actor that you wouldn't say, yes, we'll have you with the doctor, right? An actor that, it might, it might be like a really famous actor that's retired, might come back for a stint. And if we only have the unbound doctor for one episode, then that could be like a really high role. Michael Caine. He retired. Have Michael Caine in to be the Unbound Doctor for an episode. That is fresh, new and exciting. So that's, that's my fan casting for the Unbound Doctor. Now, the Unbound Doctor in audio form has been very successful and very well populated, right? A lot of audios have come out of the Umb Unbound universe, right? So it is a proven popular format from a selling point of view. From a business and marketing standpoint, it is a triple, double and all round success, I would say. I think that the whole format itself works in its favour and personally, I really like the Unbound Universe. I think that the Unbound Doctor should, would and could make its screen debut um, because Anything could happen now. 
Now that we're opening up the multiverse in Doctor Who, due to the popularity of the multiverse across franchises like the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's becoming a really popular format um, multiverse. So if we have a multiverse Doctor, which will be, in our case, the Unbound Doctor, then I think that would work on TV. So, what do you think? Do you think the Unbound Doctor should return? Um, well, this time on TV rather than audio, because obviously we know that Colin Baker's played an Unbound Doctor. We know that um, David Wa David Warner was the Unbound Doctor. We know now that David Bradley's going to be the next Unbound Doctor. Now, technically, uh, the creator, the um, the one that runs the museum, which was played by Tom Baker. Uh, in, on the 50th anniversary and played by Colin Baker on audio could technically be the Unbound Doctor because there's no written rule that says the Unbound Doctor doesn't have memories of our Doctor it's just that it's not in the same linear timeline as our Doctor so technically that could happen but I don't think the curator will return to TV anytime soon I think that'll be like when someone said, right, this is the end of Doctor Who forever, and we mean forever, we're never bringing this back. What we need you to do, we need you to end the story, we need you to wrap it up, we need to have some pivoting, and then, and then the Doctor could become the creator. Or, or is that David Tennant, 14th Doctor, that was by generated? Is that the creator now? Who knows? Who knows? I know who knows. Russell T. Davis. David, he probably hasn't told David a Scooby about it, but who, who knows? Who knows? Well, probably a lot of people actually. Um, or the creative team probably know. Probably definitely know. So, Unbound Universe, Unbound Doctor. To round off this video, I'd like to say yes, I want to see the Unbound Doctor. Yes! I want to see him on screen. And yes, I am a massive fan of the Unbound Universe on Big Finish with audio. So, before this camera does die, because I've got a feeling that if I talk for any longer than I already am, then A, the camera will die, and B, I'll lose all this footage, and I don't want to lose this video because it's a cracking video. Because I'm talking about the Unbound Doctor. The Unbound Doctor doesn't get talked about enough. And we need to see the Unbound Doctor on screen somehow. A spin-off, maybe. A multiverse story. A one-off. A whole run of it. Who knows? Just whoever plays the Unbound Doctor. I say give David Bradley a shot. Or Colin Baker. Just to give anyone that's had a shot of being the Unbound Doctor on audio. Bring them to screen. So, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me to act. Bye! I'm gonna head off this way. Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.